Regression models are abstract things, and as such, we human beings have developed various ways of characterizing them. Models can be described by mathematical equations. In many cases, they can be visualized as geometric objects in two or three dimensions. And of course, they can be communicated to R via a suggestive syntax. Going forward, we will emphasize the connections between these three characterizations of models and illustrate how an understanding of one can lead to a deeper understanding of another. A multiple regression model can be expressed as an equation for the response variable y in terms of some explanatory variables x1 and x2. The coefficients of the model, beta0, beta1, and beta2, allow us to translate our knowledge about x into information about y. A statistical model will always include an error term like epsilon that captures our uncertainty. These errors, which are manifest as residuals, are critical to the process of statistical inference. But that is a subject for a later course. In this course, we will focus on the variables and the coefficients. Math is in everyone's cup of tea, and while this doesn't make it any less important, we will develop geometric intuition about regression models in this course. Our data live in a space, and we will refer to this as the data space. In this scatter plot, we view the highway gas mileage of several popular cars, along with the corresponding size of their engines, as measured by displacement. Each point on the scatter plot represents an observation. A simple linear regression model can be visualized as a line through this data space. Finally, R doesn't really understand math or geometry. But of course, R is really good at performing the computations that we will need in order to fit and visualize our models. We will use a special syntax called a formula to communicate models to R. This syntax is less specific and more suggestive than a mathematical equation, but can be put into a one-to-one -one correspondence with it. As we extend simple linear regression into multiple regression, we will add additional explanatory variables. Instead of just having x, we will have x1 and x2, even possibly more. The formula syntax will extend naturally, and additional coefficients will make their way into the mathematical equation. As we add complexity, the data space will increase from two to three and even more dimensions, and the class of geometric objects that we can use to describe models will broaden to include multiple lines, planes, and even multiple planes. Unfortunately, while the mathematical and syntactic characterizations will scale easily to an arbitrary number of explanatory variables, human beings are limited in our ability to visually process more than three numeric dimensions. We will get creative to push this boundary as far as we can, but we are doomed to fail. Let's practice our understanding in the next set of exercises.